Alpha, originally known as Alpha AXP, is a 64-bit reduced instruction set computing instruction set developed by Digital Equipment Corporation, designed to replace their 32-bit VAX complex instruction set computer instruction set. Alpha was implemented in microprocessors originally developed and fabricated by DEC. These microprocessors were most prominently used in a variety of DEC workstations and servers, which eventually formed the basis for almost all of their mid to upper scale lineup. Several third party vendors also produced Alpha systems, including PC form factor motherboards. Operating systems that supported Alpha included OpenVMS, True64 Unix, Windows NT, Linux, BSD Unix, Plan 9 from Bell Labs, as well as the L4 Car Pistachio kernel. The Alpha architecture was sold, along with most parts of DEC, to Compaq in 1998. Compaq, already an Intel customer, decided to phase out Alpha in favor of the forthcoming Hewlett Packard Intel Itanium architecture, and sold all Alpha intellectual property to Intel in 2001, effectively killing the product. Hewlett Packard purchased Compaq later that same year continuing development of the existing product line until 2004, and promising to continue selling Alpha-based systems, largely to the existing customer base, until October 2006. History equals Prism equals, Alpha was born out of an earlier risk project named Prism, itself the final product of several earlier projects. Prism was intended to be a flexible design, supporting both Unix-like applications, as well as Digital's existing VMS programs from the VAX after minor conversion. A new Unix-like operating system known as Michael would run applications natively, supporting VMS under emulation running at the same time. During development, the Palo Alto design team were working on a Unix-only workstation that originally included the Prism. However, development of the workstation was well ahead of the Prism, and the engineers proposed that they release the machines using the MIPS 2000 processor instead, moving its release date up considerably. DEC management doubted the need to produce a new computer architecture to replace their existing VAX and DEX station lines, and eventually ended the PRISM project in 1988. By the time of cancellation, however, second-generation RISC chips were offering much better price-performance ratios than the VAX lineup. It was clear a third generation would completely outperform the VAX in all ways, not just on cost. Equals alpha equals, another study was started to see if a new RISC architecture could be defined that could directly support the VMS operating system. The new design used most of the basic PRISM concepts, but was retuned to allow VMS and VMS programs to run at reasonable speed with no conversion at all. The decision was also made to upgrade the design to a full 64-bit implementation from PRISM's 32-bit, a conversion all of the major risk vendors were undertaking. Eventually that new architecture became Alpha. The primary Alpha instruction set architects were Richard L. Seitz and Richard T. Whitech. The PRISM's Epicut was developed into the Alpha's PAL code, providing an abstracted interface to platform and processor implementation-specific features. The main contribution of Alpha to the microprocessor industry, and the main reason for its performance, was not so much the architecture but rather its implementation. At that time, the microchip industry was dominated by automated design and layout tools. The chip designers at Digital continued pursuing sophisticated manual circuit design in order to deal with the overly complex VAX architecture. The Alpha chips showed that manual circuit design applied to a simpler, Cleaner architecture allowed for much higher operating frequencies than those that were possible with the more automated design systems. These chips caused a renaissance of custom circuit design within the microprocessor design community. Originally, the Alpha processors were designated the DEC HIP 21X64 series, with DEC HIP replaced in the mid 1990s with Alpha. The first two digits, 21 signifies the 21st century, and the last two digits, 64 signifies 64 bits. The Alpha was designed as 64 bit from the start and there is no 32 bit version. The middle digit corresponded to the generation of the Alpha architecture. Internally, Alpha processors were also identified by EV numbers, 
EV officially standing for extended vax, but having an alternative humorous meaning of electric vlasic, giving homage to the electric pickle experiment at Western Research Lab. Equals improved models equals, the first few generations of the Alpha chips were some of the most innovative of their time. The first version, the Alpha 21064 or EV4, was the first CMOS microprocessor whose operating frequency rivaled higher powered ECL mini computers and mainframes. The second, 21164 or EV5, was the first microprocessor to place a large secondary cache on chip. The third, 21264 or EV6, was the first microprocessor to combine both high operating frequency and the more complicated out of order execution microarchitecture. The 21364 or EV7 was the first high performance processor to have an on chip memory controller. The unproduced 21464 or EV8 would have been the first to include simultaneous multi threading, but this version was cancelled after the sale of DEC to Compaq. The Tarantula Research Project, which most likely would have been called EV9, would have been the first alpha processor to feature a vector unit. A persistent report attributed to DEC insiders suggests the choice of the AXP tag for the processor was made by DEC's legal department, which was still smarting from the VAX trademark fiasco. After a lengthy search the tag AXP was found to be entirely unencumbered. Within the computer industry, a joke got started that the acronym AXP meant almost exactly PRISM. Design principles, the alpha architecture was intended to be a high-performance design. Digital intended the architecture to support a 1,000-fold increase in performance over 25 years. To ensure this, any architectural feature that impeded multiple instruction issue, clock rate or multiprocessing was removed. As a result, the alpha does not have branch delay slots, suppressed instructions, byte load or store instructions. Equals condition codes equals the alpha does not have condition codes for integer instructions to remove a potential bottleneck at the condition status register. Instructions resulting in an overflow, such as adding two numbers whose result does not fit in 64 bits, write the 32 or 64 least significant bits to the destination register. The carry is generated by performing an unsigned compare on the result with either operand to see if the result is smaller than either operand. If the test was true, the value 1 is written to the least significant bit of the destination register to indicate the condition. Registers, the architecture defined a set of 32 integer registers and a set of 32 floating point registers in addition to a program counter, two lock registers and a floating point control register. It also defined registers that were optional, implemented only if the implementation required them. Lastly, registers for PAL code were defined. The integer registers were denoted by RO to a 31 and floating point registers were denoted by FO to F31. The A31 and F31 registers were hardwired to zero and writes to those registers by instructions are ignored. Digital considered using a combined register file, but a split register file was determined to be better as it enabled two chip implementations to have a register file located on each chip and integer only implementations to omit the floating point register file containing the floating point registers. A split register file was also determined to be more suitable for multiple instruction issue due to the reduced number of read and write ports. The number of registers per register file was also considered, with 32 and 64 being contenders. Digital concluded that 32 registers was more suitable as it required less die space, which improved clock frequencies. This number of registers was deemed not to be a major issue in respect to performance and future growth, as 32 registers could support at least 8-way instruction issue. The program counter is a 64-bit register which contains a long word-aligned virtual byte address, that is, the low two bits of the program counter are always zero. The PC is incremented by 4 to the address of the next instruction when an instruction is decoded. A lock flag and locked physical address register are used by the load locked and store conditional instructions for multiprocessor support. 
The floating point control register is a 64-bit register defined by the architecture intended for use by alpha implementations with IEEE 754 compliant floating point hardware. Data types, in the alpha architecture, a byte was defined as an 8-bit datum, a word as a 16-bit datum, a long word as a 32-bit datum, a quad word as a 64-bit datum, and an octa word as a 128-bit datum. The alpha architecture originally defined six data types, quad word integer, long word integer, IEEET floating point, IEEES floating point, to maintain a level of compatibility with the VAX, the 32-bit architecture that preceded the alpha, two other floating point data types were included, VAX G floating point, VAX F floating point, the alpha had some provision for future expansion of the instruction set to include 128-bit data types. Memory, the alpha has a 64-bit linear virtual address space with no memory segmentation. Implementations can implement a smaller virtual address space with a minimum size of 43 bits. Although the unused bits were not implemented in hardware such as TLBs, the architecture required implementations to check whether they are zero to ensure software compatibility with implementations with a larger virtual address space. Instruction formats The Alpha ISA has a fixed instruction length of 32 bits. It has six instruction formats. The integer operate format is used by integer instructions. It contains a 6-bit opcode field followed by the RA field, which specifies the register containing the first operand and the RB field, specifies the register containing the second operand. Next is a 3-bit field which is unused and reserved. A 1-bit field contains a 0, which distinguished this format from the integer literal format. A 7-bit function field follows, which is used in conjunction with the opcode to specify an operation. The last field is the RC field, which specifies the register which the result of a computation should be written to. The register fields are all 5 bits long, required to address 32 unique locations, the 32 integer registers. The integer literal format is used by integer instructions which use a literal as one of the operands. The format is the same as the integer operate format except for the replacement of the 5-bit RB field and the 3 bits of unused space with an 8-bit literal field which is 0 extended to a 64-bit operand. The floating point operate format is used by floating point instructions. It is similar to the integer operate format, but has an 11-bit function field made possible by using the literal and unused bits which are reserved in integer operate format. The memory format is used mostly by load and store instructions. It has a 6-bit opcode field, a 5-bit RA field, a 5-bit RB field and a 16-bit displacement field. Branch instructions have a 6-bit opcode field, a 5-bit RA field and a 21-bit displacement field. The RA field specifies a register to be tested by a conditional branch instruction, and if the condition is met. The program counter is updated by adding the contents of the displacement field with the program counter. The displacement field contains a signed integer and if the value of the integer is positive, if the branch is taken then the program counter is incremented. If the value of the integer is negative, then program counter is decremented if the branch is taken. The range of a branch thus is A plus or minus 1 mile instructions, or A plus or minus 4 me B. The Alpha architecture was designed with a large range as part of the architecture's forward-looking goal. The call PAL format is used by the call PAL instruction, which is used to call PAL code subroutines. The format retains the opcode field but replaces the others with a 26-bit function field, which contains an integer specifying a PAL subroutine. Instruction set equals control instructions equals the control instructions consist of conditional and unconditional branches, and jumps. The conditional and unconditional branch instructions use the branch instruction format, while the jump instructions use the memory instruction format. Conditional branches test whether the least significant bit of a register is set or clear, or compare a register as a sign quad word to zero, and branch if the specified condition is true. These conditions available for comparing a register to zero are equality, inequality, less than, less than or equal to, 
greater than or equal to, and greater than. The new address is computed by long word aligning and sign extending the 21-bit displacement and adding it to the address of the instruction following the conditional branch. Unconditional branches update the program counter with a new address computed in the same way as conditional branches. They also save the address of the instruction following the unconditional branch to a register. There are two such instructions, and they differ only in the hints provided for the branch prediction hardware. There are four jump instructions. These all perform the same operation, saving the address of the instruction following the jump, and providing the program counter with a new address from a register. They differ in the hints provided to the branch prediction hardware. The unused displacement field is used for this purpose. Equals integer arithmetic equals, the integer arithmetic instructions perform addition, multiplication, and subtraction on long words and quad words and comparison on quad words. There is no instruction, S, for division as the architects considered the implementation of division in hardware to be adverse to simplicity. In addition to the standard add and subtract instructions, there are scaled versions. These versions shift the second operand to the left by two or three bits before adding or subtracting. The multiply long word and multiply quad word instructions write the least significant 32 or 64 bits of a 64 or 128 bit result to the destination register, respectively. Since it is useful to obtain the most significant half, the unsigned multiply quad word high instruction is provided. UMULH is used for implementing multi precision arithmetic and division algorithms. The concept of a separate instruction for multiplication that returns the most significant half of a result was taken from PRISM. The instructions that operate on long words ignore the most significant half of the register and the 32-bit result is sign extended before it is written to the destination register. By default, the add, multiply, and subtract instructions, with the exception of UMULH and scaled versions of add and subtract, do no trap on overflow. When such functionality is required, versions of these instructions that perform overflow detection and trap on overflow are provided. The compare instructions compare two registers or a register and a literal and write one to the destination register if the specified condition is true or zero if not. The conditions are equality, inequality, less than or equal to, and less than. With the exception of the instructions that specify the former two conditions, there are versions that perform signed and unsigned compares. The integer arithmetic instructions use the integer operate instruction formats. Equals logical and shift equals, the logical instructions consist of those for performing bitewise logical operations and conditional moves on the integer registers. The bitewise logical instructions perform AND, NAND, NOR, OR, XNOR, and XOR between two registers or a register and literal. The conditional move instructions test a register as a sign quad word to zero and move if the specified condition is true. The specified conditions are equality, inequality, less than or equal to, less than, greater than or equal to, and greater than. The shift instructions perform arithmetic right shift, and logical left and right shifts. The shift amount is given by a register or literal. Logical and shift instructions use the integer operate instruction formats. Extensions equals byte word extensions equals, later, the alpha included byte word extensions, a set of instructions to manipulate 8-bit and 16-bit data types. These instructions were first introduced in the 21164A microprocessor and are present in all subsequent implementations. These instructions performed operations that previously required multiple instructions to implement, which improved code density and the performance of certain applications. BWX also made the emulation of x86 machine code and the writing of device drivers easier. Equals motion video instructions equals, motion video instructions was an instruction set extension to the Alpha ISA that added instructions for single instruction, multiple data operations. Alpha implementations that implement MVI, in chronological order, are the Alpha 21164 PC, Alpha 21264 and Alpha 21364. 
Unlike most other SIMD instruction sets of the same period, such as MIPS MDMX or SPARC's visual instruction set, but like PA RISC's multimedia acceleration extensions, MVI was a simple instruction set composed of a few instructions that operate on integer data types stored in existing integer registers. MVI simplicity was due to two reasons. Firstly, Digital had determined that the Alpha 21164 was already capable of performing DVD decoding through software, therefore not requiring hardware provisions for the purpose, but was inefficient in MPEG2 encoding. The second reason was the requirement to retain the fast cycle times of implementations. Adding many instructions would have complicated and enlarged the instruction decode logic, reducing an implementation's clock frequency. MVI consisted of 13 instructions. Equals floating point extensions equals floating point extensions was an extension the alpha architecture. It introduced nine instructions for floating point square root and for transferring data to and from the integer registers and floating point registers. The alpha 21264 was the first microprocessor to implement these instructions. Equals count extensions equals Count extensions was an extension to the architecture which introduced three instructions for counting bits. These instructions were categorized as integer arithmetic instructions. They were first implemented on the Alpha 21264A. Implementations At the time of its announcement, Alpha was heralded as an architecture for the next 25 years. While this was not to be, Alpha has nevertheless had a reasonably long life. The first version, the Alpha 21064 was introduced in November 1992 running at up to 192 MHz. A slight shrink of the die ran at 200 MHz a few months later. The 64-bit processor was a super-pipelined and super-scalar design, like other RISC designs, but nevertheless outperformed them all and DEC touted it as the world's fastest processor. Careful attention to circuit design, a hallmark of the Hudson design team, like a huge centralized clock circuitry, allowed them to run the CPU at higher speeds, even though the microarchitecture was fairly similar to other RISC chips. In comparison, the less expensive Intel Pentium ran at 66 MHz when it was launched the following spring. The Alpha 21164 or EV5 became available in 1995 at processor frequencies of up to 333 MHz. In July 1996 the line was speed bumped to 500 MHz, in March 1998 to 666 MHz. Also in 1998 the Alpha 21264 was released at 450 MHz, eventually reaching 1.25 GHz. In 2003, the Alpha 21364 or EV7 Marvel was launched essentially an EV68 core with four 1.6 GB per second interprocessor communication links for improved multiprocessor system performance, running at 1 or 1.15 GHz. In 1996, the production of Alpha chips was licensed to Samsung Electronics Company. Following the purchase of Digital by Compaq the majority of the Alpha products were placed with API Networks, Inc a private company funded by Samsung and Compaq. In October 2001, Microwave became the exclusive sales and service provider of API Network's Alpha-based product line. On June 25, 2001, Compaq announced that Alpha would be phased out by 2004 in favor of Intel's Itanium, canceled the planned EV8 chip, and sold all Alpha intellectual property to Intel. HP, new owner of Compaq later the same year, announced that development of the Alpha series would continue for a few more years, including the release of a 1.3 GHz EV7 variant called the EV7Z. This would be the final iteration of Alpha, the 0.13 a micrometer EV79 also being cancelled. Alpha was also implemented in the Piranha, a research prototype developed by Compaq's corporate research and non-stop hardware development groups at the Western Research Laboratory and Systems Research Center. Piranha was a multi-core design for transaction processing workloads that contained eight simple cores. It was described at the 27th Annual International Symposium on Computer Architecture in June 2000. Equals model history equals ISA extensions, 
RA Euro hardware support for rounding to infinity and negative infinity. BA Euro BWX, the byte word extension, adding instructions to allow 8 and 16 bit operations from memory and I.O., MA Euro MVI, multimedia instructions, FA Euro fix, instructions to move data between integer and floating point registers and for square root, CA Euro CIX, instructions for counting and finding bits. TA Euro support for Prefetch with modify intent to improve the performance of the first attempt to acquire a lock. Performance To illustrate the comparative performance of alpha based systems, some spec performance numbers are listed below. Note that the spec results claim to report the measured performance of a whole computer system, not just the CPU. Also note that the benchmark and scale changed from 1992 to 1995. However, the figures give a rough impression of the performance of the Alpha architecture, compared with the contemporary HP and Intel-based offerings. Perhaps the most obvious trend is that while Intel could always get reasonably close to Alpha in integer performance, in floating-point performance the difference was considerable. On the other side, HP is also reasonably close to Alpha, but these CPUs are running at significantly lower clock rates. The tables lack two important values, the power consumption and the price of a CPU. Alpha-based systems, the first generation of DEC alpha-based systems comprise the December 3000 AXP series workstations and low-end servers, December 4000 AXP series mid-range servers, and December 7000 AXP and 10000 AXP series high-end servers. The December 3000 AXP systems used the same turbo channel bus as the previous MIPS-based deck station models, whereas the 4000 was based on Future Bus Plus and the 7000-10000 shared an architecture with corresponding VAX models. DEC also produced a PC-like Alpha workstation with an EISA bus, the DEC PC AXP 150. This was the first Alpha system to support Windows NT. DEC later produced alpha versions of their Celebrity XL and Digital Personal Workstation PC lines, with 21,164 processors. Digital also produced single board computers based on the VMEBUS for embedded and industrial use. The first generation included the 21,068 based AXP VME64 and AXP VME64 LC and the 21,066-based AXP VME160. These were introduced on March 1, 1994. Later models such as the AXP VME100, AXP VME166 and AXP VME230 were based on the 21066A processor, while the Alpha VME4-224 and Alpha VME4-288 were based on the 21064A processor. The last models, the Alpha VME5-352 and Alpha VME5-480, were based on the 21164 processor. The 21066 chip was used in the DEC Molsha VX4042 compact workstation and the AlphaBook 1 laptop from Tadpole Technology. In 1994, DEC launched a new range of Alpha Station and Alpha Server systems. These used 21,064 or 21,164 processors and introduced the PCI bus, VGA-compatible frame buffers and PS-2 style keyboards and mice. The Alpha Server 8000 series superseded the DEC 7000-10000 AXP and also employed XMI and Future Bus Plus buses. The Alpha Station XP-1000 was the first workstation based on the 21264 processor. Later Alpha Server Station models based on the 21264 were categorized into DS, ES or GS families. The final 21364 chip was used in the Alpha Server ES-47, ES-80 and GS-1280 models and the Alpha Station ES-47. A number of OEM motherboards were produced by DEC, such as the 21066 and 21068 based AXP PCI33 No Name, which was part of a major push into the OEM market by the company, 
the 21164 based Alpha PC-164 and Alpha PC-164 Luces, the 21164 PC based Alpha PC-164SX and Alpha PC-164RX and the 21264 based Alpha PC-264DP. Several third parties such as Samsung and API also produced OEM motherboards such as the API UP-1000 and UP-2000. To assist third parties in developing hardware and software for the platform, DEC produced evaluation boards, such as the EB64 Plus and EB164 for the Alpha 21064A and 21164 microprocessors respectively. The 21164 and 21264 processors were used by NetAPP in various network attached storage systems, while the 21064 and 21164 processors were used by Cray in their T3D and T3E massively parallel supercomputers. Equals supercomputers equals, the fastest supercomputers based on alpha processors, Sunway Blue Light at Chinese National Supercomputing Center in Jinan. Machine, Sunway Blue Light MPP. CPU, 8575SW1600. RMAX equals 795.9 TFLOPS, RPEAK equals 1070.2 TFLOPS. ASCQ at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Machine. HP Alpha Server SC45-GS Cluster CPU, 4096 Alpha RMAX, 7.727 Teraflops References External links, The Alpha Architecture Handbook, Version 4, The Alpha Architecture Handbook, Version 3, Digital Technical Journal, Volume 4, Number 4 Special Issue 1992 Alpha AXP Architecture and Systems This issue contains several articles from Alpha's Architects, Archive Technical Documentation Library This link features the hardware reference manuals and data sheets for Alpha microprocessors, chipsets and OEM motherboards. Includes the Alpha Architecture Handbook and various programming manuals. A conversation with Dan Dobber Drive Bruce Hutton's excellent lecture notes on computer architecture.